Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, let's have a quick lesson on how to subtract a whole number and fractions. Okay, so let's start with our first example. Our first example here is 1 minus 3 fourths. So since this is a fraction and this is a whole number, kailangan si whole number ay maging fraction form din. So, wag na nating pahihirapan yung sarili natin. Okay? So, di ba alam naman natin na kapag nagsasubtract tayo or nag add ng fractions, para hindi na tayo kumuha ng LCD, kailangan laging pareho ang kanilang denominator. So, we can just subtract their numerator and then just copy the denominator. So, si 1, okay, kung ano yung denominator ng isasubtract natin na fraction, Okay, that will be our fraction form for number 1. So, 1 will become 4 all over 4. Okay, so si 1 ay magiging 4 all over 4. And then, copy subtracted by 3 fourths. Okay, baka po tinatanong nyo, ma, bakit po naging 4 over 4? Okay, di ba alam naman natin that... Any fraction which has the same numerator and denominator is always equal to 1. So, 4 over 4, kapag sinimplify or ni Lovis term, this is equal to 1. So, hindi na bago ang value ni 1. Si 1 at si 4 over 4 ay 1 pa rin. Okay, so bakit sa 4? Pwede po bang 8 over 8, 9 over 9, 6 over 6? Pwede naman, kaya lang kahit ano, kahit na anong fraction na pareho ang numerator at denominator ay pwede nating gamitin. But since ang denominator natin dito ay 4, kaya kay 4 over 4 natin ginawa si 1. Para hindi na tayo kukuha ng LCD kasi pareho na silang 4. So we can now subtract. So 4 minus 3 and then copy the denominator since pareho lang sila. So 4 minus 3 is 1. And then, copy the denominator, 4. Okay, so our final answer for number 1 is 1 fourth. So, 1 minus 3 fourths, that is equal to 1 fourth. Let's proceed to our second example, 5 minus 2 fifths. Okay, so again, kailangan natin ito or kailangan natin bumuo ng isang fraction form. So, we will borrow 1 from 5. So, C5 babawasan natin ng 1 kasi si 1 ay gagawin nating fraction form. So, si 5 ay magiging 4 na lang. Saan po napunta si 1? So, dahil 5 ang denominator ng ating subtrahen, si 1 ay magiging 5 all over 5. Kasi 5 all over 5, that is equivalent to 1. Okay, so... We now have 4 and 5 over 5. Subtracted by, copy this, 2 all over 5. Okay, so since pareho sila ng denominator, we will just copy 5 and then 5 minus 2. Huwag natin kalimutan si 4. Okay, and then, ito si 4, kinapi lang natin. And then, we can now subtract 5 minus 2, that is 3 all over 5. And then, yung natira natin na 4. Ayan. So, 5 minus 2 all over 5 is equal to 4 and 3 fifths. Okay. So, ganun lang class kadali. Mag-subtract ng whole number sa fraction forms. Remember, na kailangan lang natin ay magbuo ng isang fraction para makapag-subtract tayo sa kapwa niya fraction. So, last example here is 12 minus 5 13. So, again, si 12, we need to borrow 1. So, si 12 mababawasan, magiging 11 na lang. Saan mapupunta si 1? So, dito, sa bubuoyin nating fraction. Since 13 ang denominator ni subtrahend, gagamitin natin ay 13 over 13 para hindi na tayo kukuha ng LCD. Diretso na ng pag-subtract since pareho sila ng denominator. Ayan. So, kinopya ko lang ha. Minus 5 13 So, copy 11. Kasi wala naman tayong imaminus sa kanya. So, just copy 11. And then, 13 minus 5 all over. Dahil pareho ng denominator, this becomes 13 lang. Then, just copy. Next, 11. 13 minus 5 is 8 all over 13. So, 12 Minus 5 thirteenths is equivalent to 11 and 8 
13. So, hindi tayo nag lowest term kasi po lahat ng ating fractions dito ay naka-simplest form na. So, that's how we subtract a whole number and a fraction. Thank you so much!